Right, you okay? Example two, which is really example three, says the total number of people M who have contacted a new advice centre T weeks after it opens is modelled by that. So part one says find the number of people who contacted it after two weeks. Check your units, so that's in weeks. So I want to find M when T is two. So n is 6e to 0.3 times 2. Sticking that straight in your calculator, as you see it, is 10.93 people. At dead on, two weeks, I've only seen 10 people. As I go into the third week, I've seen 11. So it's 10 people at the moment. Part 2 says, find the number of weeks when the total number of people who have been contacted has risen to 49. So part two, I want to find T when M is 49. So 49 is 6E to 0.3T. So we'll do some rearranging. So I've got 49 over 6 is E to the 0.3T. We all love logs. So log of 49 over 6 is 0.3T. 0.3 is 3 over 10. So if I switch it on the other side, it'll actually be 10 over 3 times by log of 49 over 6. So that's the 0.3 is 3 over 10. So I multiply by the 10, divide by 3. Now that will give me roughly 7 weeks, according to the completed plan. So that's that one done. Next! So exactly, no, I've got another example. So example three, which is really example four, got a real pain in my shoulders. A radioactive substance starts decaying exponentially. Given that the mass of a substance has halved in 60 years, and that after 75 years, its mass is 540, find the original mass. Right then. So we have those, where have we gone? As the arrow's gone. It's an exponential decay. There. So I'm going to use this formula. I'm going to use m instead of mass. There. So I'm going to say that the mass is a e to the minus k t. Right. Okay. A is my initial mass. That's what I want to find out in M2. Right. I'm going to look at the half life. It tells me that the mass has halved in 60 years. So my mass is going to be the original mass over 2. Some people put like a little n naught on the same way. And the time is 60 years. I don't like the way, the way this is done. It should really be m is m naught p. E. I'm going to change it. Sorry, everybody. I don't like a. If you do chemistry, or physics, we'll put that as M0. So I'm going to change that A into M0. And M0 is your the original, it's your initial mass that you've got. So I'm just going to change it to make it look more like how you'd see in chemistry or physics, or even potentially biology. So my mass is M0 over 2. So sorry about that. So get rid of that A and change it. So we're going to have it as M equals M0 e to the minus kt. Right, so my mass is m0 over 2. That's equal to m0, my original mass, e to the minus k times 60. Now what's nice about these um, half-life questions is you don't need to know what the original mass is to work out what the k is. Because what I have to do first of all is find my k value. My m is cancel. So I've got a half is e to the minus 60k. If I do logs, 
I've got log of a half is minus 60k. So log of a half divided by minus 60 gives me a k value. Now the completed pack uses a k value 0 0.0116. Right, so I've got an, e an equation now which is m equals m naught e to the minus 0 0.0116 t because I've just put that k value in and I'm using m naught because that's better. Right, so then it says after 504, after 75 years I've got 540 left. So this is going to find the original mass. So I'm going to use t is 75 and m is 540, and that will find now what m0 is, because I need to find that k value first. Uh, so what do we got? So we've got 540 is m0, my original mass, e to the minus 0 0.116 times by 75. If I just divide by the e value, Gives me an M0 value of roughly 1284 kilos for M0. Now there's a question for you. Uh, so I'll have a go at that question for you, see how we do on it. Hopefully you get that. Now there's another example. There's two more examples actually. Let's see if I can do this next example quite quickly, but slow enough for you to follow. I don't think I will. I'm going to stop there.